got 22 on the field, and everybody else with a nice view. Southern Miss set to receive, and we are underway with Michael Harris. Takes the ball across the 15. Harris has a head of steam across the 25 to the 30, and he's brought down to the 32. So 18 yards on the rush from Watley, first and 10. Watley will keep it again, and he is brought down by Ty Tyler. LSU with the longest mark in the country at 12, and now LSU's got a big challenge against an all-time offense tonight in Alabama. If they can hold them without a touchdown in the first quarter, for sure Ed Ogeron will take it. And this time, Watley is brought down by Channing Hames in the backfield. Doesn't matter what else he has going on in his life, if someone says they're a Steeler fan, you're all for it. I mean, and, sometimes. He'll, and he'll throw on first down and connect with Obi Obiallo for a first down. And this is nice, a good timing route, running the out. Alex Townsend plants his feet, delivers the ball right to Obiallo. And, and, and you know, I like this because he's... Robert Lefevre back, the redshirt sophomore, Quez Watkins. Waits for the return, has to catch it over his shoulder, drops it, now he's in the end zone, got to get out. And he does it to four. Yikes. Yowzers is the way. Look at the room. And for Watkins, at this point in his mind, he has to let that go. 422 and two touchdowns and a rush. Yep. Yeah, not bad. And off again to Anderson, and he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Defense and making a play. Channing Haynes, yep, makes the play. And a couple extra guys, but this is the problem you have right here is the extra by the linebacker. Can't really get a number on that. That comes in and gives a little extra umph into the play. Watley playbook with the double option pull off the backside. Big fella's got, got, got some nimble feet there. Mm -hmm. I think you still qualify even if you say, I love Max Starks. I think that qualifies as. I, I think that puts you at the top of the list feedback, in yeah. the running. Thompson to Obialo, and he's brought down at the 12. We'll see if he's going to hand it off or possibly a little pitch and maybe a sneak out the back door one more time. 32. The handoff is to Anderson. He gets the first down and more. Ball down to the five. And a great job by this offensive line to just move the line of scrimmage. If you watch right here, Levi Brown and Kane Madden do a great job of really opening up on that centered and right guard position. Justin Rohrwasser, the transfer from the University of Rhode Island, seven for 10 on the season, make it eight for 11. And we're tied at three. Conference USA football, Southern Miss and Marshall from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. It's DeMichael Harris, takes it to five, and DeMichael Harris is brought down at the 15. And Big hit from Terrence what, Ricks. What a great job here. Wow, lowers the shoulder, stops him completely. And both these teams, they, they don't like each other that much. I think a lot of it stems over from last year's game, but you've seen a lot of extracurricular. So Tay Watley, the, the true freshman, keeps it himself. Gets just across the 15. Now Watley came into the game against Charlotte last week after Jack Abraham had thrown the three interceptions. And Watley went six for eight, 87 yards, two touchdowns. Ran the ball eight times. For so great job of getting downfield, the extra effort blocking on that play. A whole host of herd in the backfield this time. Led by Amari Cobb. And a blitz up the middle. You see Amari Cobb whips. Looks like the right. You know, we had a trick-or-treater wearing that same dinosaur costume. It was one of my daughter's babysitters. <laughs> it freaked her out a little bit. <laughs> On first down. Across the middle, it's Marcel Williams, and he is tripped up. 
by Kyle Hendick. And Marcel Williams is jumping because he knew there was nothing but pay dirt if he can break through the shoestring tackle. What a great job. You've been running the ball up the middle a lot, so pull the quick play action, run the seam route up the middle. Marcel Williams catches it in stride. Ask the announcers anything. You can use the hashtag Ask the Announcers. Ask us any questions in the comments, and we'll make sure Max gets those, says I'm sure you've got plenty more questions for Max. And on first down, maybe a yard. Hey, Matt, a lot of people care about the Baltimore-Pittsburgh game on Sunday. Sorry, why? Watley is in trouble, and down he goes. Okay. Watley brought down by Chase Hancock. Yeah, preseason first team all-conference USA linebacker Chase Hancock just chases it down. It's a coverage sack. Great job by the defensive backs on the back end to cover up all the receivers and force Watley into a position where he kind of stumbling and Chase Hancock zeroes in one of the best when he has closing speed uh, for this thundering herd defense. So another three and out Marcel Williams is back and the punt is fumbled. And this is going to lead to beautiful field position and it's going to lead to a touchdown for Marshall. So turnover number 20 for Southern Miss on the season is a disaster. And it's a snap goes off to the right hand side, making it very tough. Colin Mills, the long snapper there, sails a little bit to his right. Punter drops his eyes. Who's the third string running back today? The snap barely got off the ground. Hits over the top, ball pops out. And I guess it's it's not technically Knox's first carry of the season. Doesn't happen from the backfield, but it's a scoop and score. And the, the yeah, punters should never run with the football, but secondly, if you are gonna run and try and dive, secure that football with two hands. And Zach Everett, I know, is beside himself, uh, coughing up the football and it actually turning into points immediately. Watley escaping, a dangerous throw, and ball falls to the turf. And Watley dodging through guys. This one, two, three guys trying to get a power. We approach four minutes to go here in the second quarter. Southern Miss trying to recover from a fumble, and another fumble. This ball is loose. As they try to recover from a botched punt, it looks like they've turned it over again, and they have. As Watley was carrying the ball, came across the line of scrimmage, and I'm not so sure if a Marshall defender hit this. And, well, it looked like a Marshall defender popped it out. But then the fumble Ruski drill goes into effect, and Chris Jackson ends up coming up with it at the end. Get another look. Defense alignment, yep, pokes it out. Uh, Ryan really B did yeah. it. Yeah. Ryan B with the extra effort. Fumbled again, recovered by the defense. Extra, extra effort. So this is a kid who has that dual threat capability. He can pass it in the air. He's highly efficient, 8 to 12. But also his decision when he does run, he has a lot of success as well. Yeah, Mosley in trouble with Ty Taylor got to him first. Peace mass penalty. And this is a great job by the defensive end, uh, Ty Tyler and Travinsky Mosley. Third and 22, ball on their own, 34. Watley puts Anderson in motion. Tucks and runs. Looks like a late hit as well, and that's going to be costly against Marshall. That is a... Donye Moody comes up limping, but it could be Moody who's whistled for the personal foul here. We'll see what the referees say. Yeah, this is a bad time. You look at the spot. This is a personal foul. It could be a potential first down. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. 
Defense, number 10. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. That is number 10 first. The automatic first down. It would have been a fourth and 13, and for Marshall, their first penalty of the day comes in a brutal spot. And so the good tackle from Moody. Ah. Yeah. And you can see, oh. you can see Trace yeah. Clopton step on Moody, and Moody trying to tell the official that. And they're in that no man's land where you can't kick it, and you also you don't want to punt it and risk a touchback. Two for ten on third down, and Anderson drives the legs. Doesn't look like he got there. Nah. Yeah, that didn't look like look he tried to roll on top of a few guys. Marshall defenders, hand, but I don't think he got there. He got caught in the backfield. It's good when you get to the line and you kind of was that how it hand over, <laughs> but you can't get hit in the backfield. Try to get that little push and reach the arm over. Yeah, it looked like Malik Gant blitzing off of the outside. What a great job by him. Catch him in the backfield. Watching football. So eating breakfast tomorrow. On Sunday. Yeah, yeah, Sunday there. Go ahead and make all the future jokes you want. <laughs> I'm sure he's heard them all. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Green again, looking for the big hitter. He's got Williams down to the 20. Marcel Williams puts Marshall in the red zone. And Marcel Williams puts the burners on, going down and running a, a deep crosser and has two steps on the receiver, a little bit behind him, but a great catch, big gain for Marshall. The handoff to Davis. Davis gets the edge and is just knocked out of bounds at the three. And Marshall, two big plays back to back. Running, running an outside zone play to the left. And Keon Davis, great block by the receiver on the edge. And the foot steps out right before he can stretch it out over the, and hit the pylon with the, the nose of the football. They had review. 55 yards, so the previous play is now under review to see if Davis had got into the end zone before the 53-yard pass to, to, to Marcel Williams. Marshall had had 55 yards total. That play, 53 yards. <laughs> Isaiah Green in the game, replacing Alex Thompson, leading Marshall down the field. Trailing by a touchdown. The handoff for Anthony Anderson, and he's into the end zone for a her touchdown. Straight up the middle goes Anthony Anderson for his seventh touchdown of the season. Yeah, and it starts with great blocking up front. Center Levi Brown doing a great job. You see Jordan Dowry in there at the left guard position as well. They just clear the hole, and Anthony Anderson. Watley. Cannot get away. That's by number six, Marquise Couch in the backfield immediately. Tackle for a loss because it looked like Watley was going to go for a rush. Uh, I'm sure he wishes it counted for a sack, but yeah, just beats the block. Uh, looked like Arvin Fletcher coming around on the counter just absolutely missed him. And Southern Miss has done a great job, and Marshall has not found an answer yet defensively for this perimeter run and pass game. Watley keeps it this time. Sniffed out by Frankie Hernandez. An interesting decision there that he didn't give it, give it off because there were blockers in place for the perimeter run game. And Watley, but that's once again, as a freshman, he's growing up, like Coach Hobson said at halftime, he has to see these looks to know when to give the ball and when to keep it. So these are valuable learning experiences, but you want them to make those better decisions so that you don't get behind the sticks on third downs and where they could have been shorter, now you're in third and medium. Play clock is at seven. Third and six, ball in the 42. Watley facing the pressure, escapes once, twice, and is run out of bounds. The ball is at the nine. 
Watley keeps it, and there is nowhere to go. He's brought down by Cobb once again. Green over the middle, finds Brady. Gets around one defender, and he's brought down at the 40. Good for a Marshall first down. Three receivers to the right, two out to the left. Empty backfield for Isaiah Green. Pressure coming up the middle, and he's wide open down the far side. It's Marcel Williams makes the grab. Marcel Williams had a beat. And then he was able to come back, make the adjustment, and then get out of bounds. And just a great job running from the slot position. On first down, the handoff is to Mosley, and he is dropped in a hurry. There's Dwan Young, first one in the backfield, along with Channing Hames. Yeah, Channing Hames has had a really solid game today, affecting the backfield. You see him crossing the face of the right guard, Foxworth, and just making. Yeah, he did. He, because he can't touch the guy, so you got to snap it so it counts as offsides. Like a little bit of a head fake, too, from Clopton. Nothing doing on first down. Big body in the backfield. Imagine him as a high school quarterback, which he was. Watley escapes one, gets it off, and it's dropped by Mitchell a bit behind him. Amari Cobb once again on the pressure. And Tate Watley doing a good job of avoiding the pressure, spinning out of the, the arms of number 31. One in motion, and Watley gets dropped. Marquise Couch. It's like in Tecmo Bowl and Nintendo where you used to pick the right play. That's exactly what Couch did in the backfield. And you push him back. Marquise Couch just crashing down. They had a counter. It looked like a counter play was going on to the right-hand side. So Couch just gets right in the back hip of the left tackle and just finds Tate Watley. And Doc Holliday is not a happy camper. 11th play of the drive already. They've gone 78 yards. They need to go two more. They three-point lead. Sneaking it in. Uh, no signal yet. Looks like they're still short. I would hand it off to Anderson, who's a big body. It's Watley again. There we go. Third time's the charm. And see the snap this time. Gets a little extra effort from the backside with King and Anderson pushing from behind. So I didn't see, the I never saw the touchdown sign come from the officials. I don't think he got in. Yeah, came from the far side did, one, one did come in? He did come in. He signaled it early and ran in on it. He got better eyes than I do. I never saw him. But I heard the fireworks, so I figured someone did. But looking at this, looking at the replay, it from first look, it doesn't look like Watley got in. You know, this is still new for him, <laughs> getting into a rhythm with his receivers. Yeah, the redshirt freshman had come in with eight touchdowns and six picks. Goes to the far side, this time connects with Obialo. Brought down by Ty Williams. Nice stop route. Green steps up, flag. And what an awkward slide. Looked like Green could have hurt himself there. Yeah. It's funny how not all the quarterbacks know how to baseball slide. I mean, that was a big issue with RG3 when he first came mm -hmm. into the league. He didn't do it Personal at foul. Pants to the face. Defense, number 11. 15-yard penalty added to the end of the run. First down. Haven't said Sherrod Ruff's name very often. 
one of the first times we're calling his name today and the recipient of a hands to the face. And Ruff is over the left guard. Uh, it's, yeah, he has hands. Yeah, a little touchy on Keon Davis, the running back. But touchy call, but hey, turns out for the best for Marshall. Ball into Southern, missed 30. Green escapes one, now a little shovel pass. Up ahead to Keon Davis. A heck of a play from Isaiah Green as he was being dragged down. And the pressure came and just barely, barely misses him and he flips it out. A little toss out a la Patrick Holmes and Tim Tebow. Hand off to Keon Davis again and he plows ahead. Close to the 20. And on third and one, it, like Southern Miss is even trying to go forward with it. Marshall on fourth down, nine for 11 this season. Make that 10 for 12 is Marcel Williams. Has the catch at about the 32. Good job by Green, staying patient and waiting for Williams to clear the zone right here on the inside and just catches it right in the gap. Just sits down. Home to NC State. Need to get on the board here. Drop off to Davis. Deion Davis across the 20 and he's knocked out of bounds by Rashawn Mitchell. And when you're playing a prevent and playing a back off defense. This is the first turnover for Southern Miss. Keeps it alive with a minute 16. First and 10 from the 15. Green into the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown. Artie Henry the third, his first touchdown of the season. And what a great job Henry does. He's playing the inside slot to the left-hand side of the offense. That magical bounce that everybody's looking for. Let's take another look at the touchdown. Yeah, post route and Artie Henry beats the other Henry <laughs> for Southern Miss. Down there for a 7.30 Eastern kick on stadium. And here we go. It's fielded cleanly.